We're very excited to have Jacob Bourne joining us, of course, media relations manager, and talking about the exciting things that are happening with this team this year. Thank you for having me on the show. It's yeah. Great. The wild is cool, isn't it? The wild is always cool. Yeah. <laughs> and, Literally. And yeah. yesterday it was ultra cool because we talked about the fact that uh, the kids had a chance to go see a game oh, yes. yesterday morning. Mm -hmm. And uh, you want to talk about a success? There's a lot of people it, there. It might have been a little packed and a little yeah. loud, but that's how you like it at a game Absolutely. like that. How many were out there? Uh, 12,457 kids. 12,000 yes, kids? Yes, sir. Wow. That's, that's impressive. That's amazing. Yeah. And we yeah. encourage you to go out. Yeah. One of the best times you can see the Iowa Wild is during those games. Uh, kind of a fun time to watch, but this, the excitement and the mm -hmm. noise going on. But it, you treated it as a, a learning experience for the kids as well. Absolutely. So uh, we bust in kids from all across the metro area to come out and watch the Iowa Wild play. But the biggest thing, too, is that there was, there was a work book that everybody had at the game so they got to learn about where the players were from uh, they had word searches they had a little bit about physics geography so it was we really treated it as a learning experience and tried to make it uh, something that the kids benefited of outside of just watching a sporting event so you, they're, they're watching a game but you're putting the, the science into a tell but just shh, don't tell them uh, you're exactly sneaking that in right exactly they wouldn't have known that they were actually learning something but then they go home and tell their parents that the hardest slap shot is 108 point eight miles per hour and they're like oh I did actually learn something at the game today see that unbelievable okay mm -hmm. so let's talk about the season so far because yes. we have uh, a kind of a mixture of uh, new players mm -hmm. veterans coming in a brand new coach mm -hmm. so many people are like okay uh, maybe we need some time to adjust but we're coming out pretty strong this year absolutely coach army got the guys rolling right off the bat uh, team had a five game home winning streak which was the longest in franchise history that's awesome so very very well starting of the season and then now uh, the team is eight three one and zero, or second place in the division uh, with, with seventeen points. So it's been a very, very good start to the year. That is great. And mm -hmm. and why is hockey uh, again starting to get a resurgence here in uh, Central Iowa? Because you know it was super popular and died down for a while, but now it's starting to come back again. Yeah, I think that it's a, a big credit to our president Todd Fredrickson and just the rest of the Iowa Wild mm -hmm. staff. Uh, we really, when we came back here in Des Moines in two thousand thirteen, we really wanted to make sure that we got a foothold in the community. And so uh, we've done a lot of different community events. We wanted to make sure that we are here and show that we're going to be here for a while. And so whether it was Hockey Days Iowa, where we had the three-on-three -three tournament in the cornfield, or our junior crash course, where we had last year 50 kids come in and try hockey for free. This year we had 100 kids come and play hockey for free. So just really trying to grow grow the game at the grassroots level and show that um, once kids become a fan, then they become a fan for life. Now tell, about, tell us about the association with the NHL team. Uh, so we are the AHL team with uh, Minnesota Wild. So our players are trying to get to the NHL level and so this is really a developmental league so we get uh, recent draft picks or recent signings they can come down here and they can uh, really grow their game to the point where they can play in the NHL with Minnesota so uh, for instance we had Nate Prosser as a defenseman for Minnesota he came down and played a couple of conditioning stints getting back from injury then he went back up we had uh, Zach Parise last year once he right. got back from his injury he came down played a game went back up Jordan Greenway came down and he had a hat trick He's had four points in two games with us, and then he goes back up and he scores his first NA, uh, regular season NHL goal in Vancouver right after playing with us. So we're really there to keep building confidence, building the game of, the, of our players, and then uh, having them succeed at the NHL level. The thing that's really neat is when you're talking about these NHL players that are down here uh, doing either their rehab stint or whatever, you can really see how much faster uh, those players are than some of the other folks that you may have been accustomed to watching over the years. But again, this is uh, the launching ground, the launching pad for them getting into the NHL. Absolutely. It's a play, like I said, it's a place for them to uh, really gain their confidence, grow their game, and then uh, really it's just another step of uh, living their lifelong dream of getting into the NHL. We know that the Stanley Cup comes through Iowa because they learn, develop here, then they go up to the NHL where they can succeed. And ultimately, our goal is for uh, Minnesota to win the Stanley Cup. Yeah, and the, the fan base is very knowledgeable about the game, too, which uh, the players said that they love. Absolutely. I mean, yeah. everybody wants uh, to have knowledgeable fans because I think that that really helps grow the game. And with, uh, with our fans, I mean, they're loud. They know, uh, they know when to be supportive. They know when they need to ask maybe a little bit more of us. But I definitely think that our fan base is one of the best in the AHL, if not the best, and our players really like playing in front there of them. You go. Okay, so we were talking about uh, the great turnout that happened yesterday with mm -hmm. the kids being at the game. What can we look forward to in the future? Because there's quite a few games that we're very lucky to have here in the Des Moines mm -hmm. Metro while they're also touring around uh, the country, but when's the next big one? Uh, the next big one actually is tomorrow night. Okay. Uh, veterans tomorrow? Yes. Nice wasting some time here. <laughs> <laughs> uh, veterans Appreciation Night and okay. ALS Night is uh, tomorrow at Wells Fargo Arena. So uh, one of our big things is that we really wanted to make sure that 
that uh, with Veterans Appreciation Night, we showed our appreciation for those who have served for our country. So anybody who, uh, who has served can show their military ID and get a free ticket into the game tomorrow nice. night. Nice. Um, the first 1,500 fans will also receive this uh, Veterans Appreciation Iowa Wild hat. It's green and it's got uh, some camo on the back. So the first 1,500 fans through the gates will get that. Uh, we have a pin board where fans can, uh, if they've served, they can show where they've served on a map and pin, uh, pin that on there. Oh, nice. And then uh, the players will also be wearing special military themed jerseys for the game. So it's specialty jersey and then there's gonna be a post uh, a post-game auction where we're going to auction those jerseys off uh, to benefit ALS research. Oh, that is awesome yeah. that you're doing that. We appreciate it. I'm going to take a look at this. Yeah, absolutely. Because we had, didn't get a good shot of this. I'm going to open it up here. Here you go, Lucas. I checked this out. I love the camo on this hat. And people that love camo, there you go. Isn't that cool? That looks it's pretty a great cool. great hat. Yeah. Uh, and that's something you can get if you uh, get your tickets and get there early tomorrow Absolutely. night. Mm -hmm. uh, and remember, veterans, show your ID so that you can get in for free. We also want to remind everybody, there's something brand new this year, uh, like an app. There's an app for there that. There is an app. There's yes. an app for that? If there people is. want to follow along, maybe they're not able to make it to the game, mm -hmm. but they can still get updates on the phone. Mm -hmm. Tell everybody how that works. Uh, so all you have to do is just go to the, either the Apple Store or the Google Store and just download Iowa Wild. They're a brand new app. You'll get uh, scoring updates for every game. You'll get uh, article notifications. You can check out our roster, stats. Uh, pretty much it's a one-stop shop for everything you need to know Iowa Wild. I did not know that. And special go. games that you can play while you're at the game. Yes. Oh, yeah? Only if you have the app. Uh, all right. Get there you go. All right. Thank you so much, man. Thank you. So cool. And uh, good luck this weekend, too. Thank you very yeah, much. We hope to bring home another winner. There you go. Yeah, Thank you very much. All right.